winching towers and a large system of waterways are prominent in Germany's mountainous Harz region. They were built centuries ago, back when people began to mine silver, lead and iron ore here in a big way. Engineers from the Klausthal University of Technology now want to use the abandoned mines to store energy that could be released on demand. The concept of an underground power plant was first attempted 90 years ago in a shaft dug for the purpose. It was drilled 130 meters down into the stone. A turbine produces environmentally friendly electricity and enough energy to meet the needs of 500 households. It's driven by water from a lake above ground. The water is channeled underground through pipes where it makes the turbine spin. Then it flows out of the hill elsewhere. We've thought about what we could do to better utilize water power in the hearts, and at some point it occurred to us, why not pump the water back up and build pumped storage power plants below ground as well. This would allow the storage of energy from wind power without the environmental destruction often caused by hydroelectric projects. At different levels, two tanks will be built into the mine and filled with water. When it's windy, the energy generated will be used to pump the water into the upper basin. It'll be stored there for times when there's no wind and electricity is in short supply. Water will then be allowed to flow down through hydroelectric generators. A facility like this could supply a major city for about four hours. Generating energy below ground has the advantage that we don't have to disturb natural habitats on the surface, and that is an idea the public embraces. The engineers have been searching for a suitable site for the power plant for two years. But because most of the old mines have been decommissioned, they had to study old records and maps. The team has already looked at more than a thousand mines. About a hundred of them could be suitable. To function optimally, the abandoned mine should have a vertical shaft that plunges as deeply into the earth as possible. The greater the altitude difference between the two basins, the higher the energy yield. Researchers have created a three-dimensional computer model using data gathered from the mine where the first power plant is to be built. Layers of rock and their locations are displayed in different colors. The thin white lines show the existing tunnels and shafts. By using a model like this, we can plan the construction work in a really advantageous way. We can see where we can build the basins, where the caverns for the machines can be placed, and how we can get them inside the hill. We will also know how we can get the turbines down through the shaft and assemble them below ground. A model like this is extremely helpful for these purposes. The pilot project is to be built here. Construction is scheduled to start in four years, with plans for the subterranean plant to begin supplying power to the grid in 2019.